My name is Dr. Anjali Mondas, I'm a junior resident in the Department of Radio Diagnosis from KS Hekne Medical Academy, Mitte, Bangalore, Karnataka. The topic for my paper presentation is Assessment of Disease Severity Using Computed Tomography Severity Score for Vaccinated and Unvaccinated COVID-19 Patients. Coming to the aim of the study is to, is to study the disease severity and efficacy of vaccine using computed tomography severity score in vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. Coming to the introduction, the SARS-CoV-2 virus was identified in a series of cases of atypical respiratory illness in the Hubei province of Wuhan, China. On March 11, 2020, COVID-19 was declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization. RT-PCR test is the foremost laboratory test used for the diagnosis of the disease. However, for the fraction of tests that come out as false negatives, high-resolution computer tomography test was used as an additional tool for the early diagnosis of COVID-19 and is also used for the monitoring the progress of the disease. CTSS score calculation is based on the percentage of drug glassing and consolidation in each lobe of both lungs. Each lobe is given a score between 0 to 5 and then the total score is calculated. Based on the total score, the disease severity is assessed as follows. Mild disease is given a score less than 7, moderate disease between 8 to 18 and severe disease between 19 to 25. In a randomized control trial, Done to study the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, it was found that after two standard doses of the vaccine, an efficacy of 64% was achieved. Coming to the methods, clinical and radiological data was collected from 30 patients who were diagnosed with COVID-19 in an institution from May 2021 to June 2021. Data analysis was done as descriptive statistics of patient demographics and results, which were reported as numbers and proportions. Coming to the results, the age distribution of patients were as follows. Out of 30 patients, 11 of them were in the age group of 40 to 59 years. Majority of the patients in the study were males. Coming to the CTSS score distribution, as you can see, majority of the patients, that is 43% of the patients, had moderate disease, 27% of the patients had mild disease, and 20% of the patients had severe disease. Three, three patients had negative HRCT thorax reports. Coming to the vaccination status, as you can see, 73% of patients were not vaccinated, 10% of the patients had received only one dose of the vaccine, and 70% of patients had received four doses of the vaccine. Coming to the CTSS scores in patients who have taken at least one dose of the vaccine, as we can see, majority of the patients, that is 37% of the patients, had mild disease, 25% of the patients had severe disease. Another 25% of the patients did not have any findings of HSAT thorax. And 30% of the patients had moderate disease. The CTSS scores among completely vaccinated individuals were as follows. 60% of the patients had mild disease, whereas the rest had negative HSAT thorax reports. Coming to the proportion of patients in the ICU and their CTSS scores. As you can see, 43% of the patients required ICU admissions with additional ventilatory support. Out of the 43%, majority of the patients had moderate disease and the rest had severe disease. Coming to the proportion of patients with comorbidities, majority of the patients did not have any comorbidities, whereas 40% of the patients had comorbidities. CTSS scores of patients with 
two morbidities were as follows. The majority of them, that is 58%, had morbid disease, 25% had severe disease, and 17% had mild disease. Session. The most common age group was between 49 to 60 years, with majority of the patients being male. A significant proportion of patients had a CTS scores between 8 to 18, that is moderate disease. The majority of the patients had not received vaccination. Total patients, patients that received at least one dose of the vaccine had mild disease. And patients who received both doses of the vaccine, majority had mild disease. Patients with comorbidities had moderate disease, whereas in patients without comorbidities, majority had mild disease. These are my references.